गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथमेटिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर ऑन चैप्टर नंबर एट कॉनग्रियंस ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स ओके इट्स एक्सरसाइज ऑन पॉइंट टू एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज सिंग दैट इन अकेरड शीट ड्रॉ टू ट्राइंगल्स ऑफ इक्वल एरियाज सच दैट पार्ट फर्स्ट इज द ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉनग्रियंट पार्ट सेकेंड इज द ट्राइंगल्स आर नॉट दिस इज नॉट not congruent okay and uh, what can you say about their parameters so simply question is saying that you take a squared sheet squared sheet it is that type of sheet which contains only squares small squares box um, small boxes are there but boxes are of the square in shape okay here uh, take a rough sketch so that you will get an idea this is a plain sheet i am taking a plain sheet and on this plain sheet i am drawing two triangles but the uh, triangle should be congruent as per the part first is concerned the both triangles should be congruent and one more thing triangles of equal area means triangles should have the same area as well so what to do you take uh, this triangle abc right angled at a ab i took 4 cm ac 3 cm in this triangle pqr i took uh, angle p 90 degrees pq equal 4 cm and pr equal 3 cm if you see both triangles are congruent why because because this is the reason this is side angle side okay side angle side see here side angle side it means by sas both triangles are congruent don't say it is 90 so you will apply rhs no because uh, we don't have any information about their hypotenuse you can you can uh, because by applying pythagoras property then uh, uh, by using that you will get the hypotenuse after that you can apply rhs but here it's better to use don't waste your uh, time so apply s a s congruence rule with this rule you will get uh, both your triangles congruent so these two triangles are congruent i will write here these two triangles are congruent this is the symbol of congruency okay now we we'll take the area Of both triangles. See, area of triangle ABC it is right angle, so it is. Ah, uh, its formula will be half our base into height. It is half our base into height. Half our base base. Ah, uh, if you take base four centimeter, then height is three. If you take base three, then height is four. It is your choice. So I took base as four centimeter. Height will be three centimeter. Four is a twelve, but centimeter 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 square divided by two. Two on the two six. So six centimeter square is the area of triangle abc similarly if you take the area of triangle pqr you will get the same area because uh, reason is base is 4 height is 3 mean it is same as that triangle so its area will be same as first triangle it is also 6 cm so yeah, therefore their area area of triangle abc is equal to area of triangle pqr means their areas are same triangles are congruent and their areas are same this was part first similarly you have to take as per part second is concerned you have to take two triangles in such a way that uh, both the triangles are not congruent but their area should be same so it is homework okay you try if you don't uh, uh, get any idea of to that i will help you but first of all you will try okay now moving to the question number 8 question number 8 is saying that draw rough sketch of two triangles Draw a rough sketch of two triangles such that they have five pairs of congruent parts, but still the triangles are not congruent. This is the symbol I am simply writing in order to make it short. This is not congruent symbol. Okay, question is draw a rough sketch of two triangles. This is the symbol of such that such that they have five pairs of congruent parts, but still the triangles are not congruent it means you have to take two triangles and both the triangles have five pairs of congruent parts congruent congruent parts means they have equal parts five pairs of equal parts but still triangles are not con congruent see how it happens if you take two triangles i took just like i took a triangle abc and triangle bqr i took angle a equal to angle p angle a equal to angle p angle b equal to angle q angle b equal to angle q I took angle C equal to angle R, angle C equal to angle R, AB equal to QR. See, 
if you uh, <coughs> take these three uh, one two three these three steps if you take one two three uh, angle equal to angle angle equal to angle angle equal to angle it means it is triple a this angle equal to that angle b equal to uh, q c equal to r but they are not congruent because triple a is not any congruence criteria now moving to this step a b equal to q r i took a b equal to q r see here you have to keep one thing in mind if i took if uh, if i have taken a b equal to p q then triangles will be congruent remember so that is why i deliberately took other other side a b equal to q r b c equal to p q b c if you have taken b c equal to q r then the triangles would have been congruent so bc is equal to pq by taking pq triangles will not be congruent so this is the reason why i am taking ab equal to qr bc equal to pq okay so i am not taking if i will take corresponding sides here then the triangles will be congruent but as per the question the question says that still the triangles are not congruent means we have to take the triangles two triangles such that five pairs of con uh, five pairs uh, there are five pairs of con uh, there are five pairs are uh, equal congruent means same but the triangle should not be so these are the five steps that you have to keep in mind okay very simple now moving to next question Question number nine is: <coughs> If triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent, two triangles are congruent. Name one additional pair of corresponding parts. What criteria did you use? Means uh, two triangles are congruent and two pairs of corresponding uh, parts are given. Third point we have to identify. What could be the third side? Let us see. See, you know, it is given that triangle ABC and figure is also given in the question PQR. Triangle ABC, PQR congruent and angle B equal to angle Q because each 90. Angle C equal to angle R given. Now we have to identify third, third part. What could be the third part so the triangles are congruent? That's why I have written here for two triangles to be congruent, we must have BC equal to QR. See, BC equal to Q, QR because if you write BC equal to QR, then by angle side angle angle side angle so by angle side angle tri triangles will be congruent so this is the reason i have written here by angle side angle congruence rule triangles will be congruent if we take uh, b c equal to q r okay so question number 10 is explain why triangle abc is congruent triangle f e d you have to explain figures are given you have to explain why they are congruent okay see 90 90 side side equal but but there is no other angle c angle c should be equal to angle d but that is not given it means something is there something hidden is there so we have to identify that hidden thing what is that see when two triangles are equal in these two triangles so we will apply we will apply angle sum property see how angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degrees angle d plus angle e plus angle b f equal to 180 degrees both are having the same sum it means first and second are equal so angle a plus angle b plus angle c equal to angle d plus angle e plus angle f angle a is equal to angle a is equal to angle f angle a is equal to f, angle f that's why i cancel it angle b is equal to angle e angle b is equal to angle e because each 90 so that's why i cancel so we are left with angle c and angle d so angle c will be equal to angle d now angle c angle angle c is equal to angle d it means angle side angle angle side angle so by angle side angle triangles will be congruent so that's why i told you earlier if angle c would be equal to angle d then triangles are congruent so at the end we got the sense to angle c equal to angle d therefore triangles are congruent then there are homework questions you can see easily you have to try for these questions thank you and have a nice day